I grew up on a farm near a community called Redwater. There's about 2,000 people in, in our town. So moving from Redwater to the city, it was a big transition. But once you get used to it, once you start to know a few people, it becomes a lot easier. And you realize that the university is just a, just a bigger community, but it's still a community. Sarah contacted me, I guess, a couple of years ago to volunteer in the lab. She's, uh, I think, in first year undergrad. So she came and worked in the lab as a volunteer, and then that evolved into this summer NSERC studentship that she had here. In my first year, I took a physiology course, and he taught a section of uh, the class about neurology, and I thought it was really interesting. And he had offered um, the students the opportunity to come check out his lab and see what it was like. The main uh, work that we do here is looking at uh, using electrical stimulation to generate contractions of human muscle. Uh, so for people who've had a spinal cord injury or a stroke or something like that who can't use their muscles uh, in the way they used to, we can put electrodes over the muscle and generate contractions uh, to help restore the muscle so the muscle wastes away if you don't use it. It's a use it or lose it type of thing so we can generate contractions, keep the muscle healthy and also restore movement so uh, walking and grasping and things like that. Our angle on it is uh, trying to figure out exactly how the stimulation generates those contractions by recording from the muscle. My second experience in the lab was last summer when I got the NSERC Undergraduate Student Research Award. Uh, we had proposed a project sort of that looked at um, the effects of fun and motivating practice on the excitability of the pathways that connect the brain to the muscles. When we initially submitted the application to NSERC, we basically just said that we wanted to look at how motivation and reward affects the brain. Uh, and to be honest, when we submitted that, I told Sarah, listen, this is the idea, but I'm not sure how we're going to do this. Uh, and then we got the money. And Sarah came up with the idea of using Guitar Hero as, as a motivating and rewarding task that we might explore. So it was all her idea there. So following an injury to the central nervous system, the nervous system reorganizes itself in order to promote recovery. So if we could find a task that would promote this sort of reorganization or neuroplasticity and really get the pathways to strengthen between the muscles and the brain, uh, we could accelerate that recovery. So we wanted to compare when someone's doing a motivating and a fun task, uh, does the excitability of the brain increase more than when they're just doing something that's boring and repetitive? And it has implications for rehabilitation programs for stroke and spinal cord injury. Not that it didn't work, it just we found something that we didn't know before. Um, like the motor learning is usually accompanied by an increase in cortical spinal excitability, but we actually observed a decrease in that response. Um, maybe if we kept practicing we'd see an increase, but it might have to do with various inhibitory circuits being activated in the cortex. We're putting in a, an, another application to NSERC for a summer studentship for the upcoming year. Uh, which builds on what she did last year. We're going to try to design an experiment to tease out exactly what's going on. Um, I proposed an experiment that's sort of going to look at possible inhibitory circuits that are in the brain and that might be contributing to the decrease in the uh, response. If her hypotheses prove to be correct, I think it will be a significant advancement in the field about basic understanding about how people learn uh, new motor skills, particularly fine skills in, that involve finger movements. I've always planned on going into medicine and that's not going to change, but whether or not I do graduate studies, I, that has definitely opened my eyes to it. So it's definitely a possibility to move into a career of, with relating to research and if I can combine medicine with research and that whole process of learning, that would just be probably ideal.